Colorado elk hunting September's my favorite time of the year you got the autumn leaves turn into the reds and the brilliant oranges beautiful and the elk start bugling we're heading up into the high country meet Adam Wells Big Mountain Ranch and take the fight to some lovesick bulls <laughs> Back Outdoors with Dave Baronio, Adam Wells, Jim Brennan, and Trevin Stoltzfus. Outback Outdoors is brought to you by Hoyt, Masio, Nikon, Wilderness Athlete, Bugling Bull Game Calls, Hex, Winner's Choice, and also brought to you by these fine sponsors. On this webisode, we team up with Trevin back in his home state of Colorado to hunt lovesick bugling bulls. You know, elk season is one of my favorite times of the year. We jumped in the truck, the production crew and I, and we headed up to meet Adam Wells on Big Mountain Ranch and chase some bugling bulls. And even with the winds, when we dropped off in that canyon, we did a few setups and it wasn't long before we had a nice young two and a half year old five by five come by. Now this early in the hunt, even though that was a nice bull, we knew there were better bulls around. So we decided to pass on that bull and hope we had a chance at a bigger one, maybe more mature bull. You know, this season, with the injury to my shoulder right before archery season, I was pretty bummed. But through my doctor, I was able to actually fill out a form and submit it to the Division of Wildlife and get a special permit to hunt with a crossbow during the archery season. So my season wasn't a bust. That afternoon we got set up on a ridge to glass opposite the area we were going to hunt for the evening. And to our surprise and joy, the bulls were coming out of the woodwork and it was only 4.30. With as hot as it had been, we were excited to see the bulls be so vocal so early we knew we might have a chance to get in on this herd and make a play. Even with watching the video of this evening, I don't know if I can explain how exciting it was. When Adam started calling, it wasn't 15 seconds and bulls started showing up out of the woodwork. There was one bull, little five by five, two and a half year old five by five, that almost trampled Adam when he huffed at him. 
These bulls must have been with some hot cows because these bulls would not leave. They'd come into 10, 15, 18 yards and move out to 100. Check the cows, run another bull off. It actually was a little bit confusing. And that's when it becomes important for the communication between you and your cameraman. Finally, that 6x6 six six that I had picked out earlier gave me an opportunity. He came down by the wallow and was broadside. I nestled in, got my crossbow up on my knee, asked my cameraman, are you on him? He said yes. So I settled in, took a deep breath, made ready for the shot. Let me explain what happened. Unfortunately, in all the excitement and adrenaline and the rut fest that was going on, the camera got bumped off a record into pause and we missed the kill shot. But that sure doesn't take away from the memories or the excitement of this hunt. I made a clean kill and that bull went down in less than 25 yards. Oh, we just smoked, smoked a bull. And we don't know how good the footage is. Um, it's getting low light. We've got bulls. I mean, look behind me. Show them behind me, Jeff. Wow, that is exciting. We've been on these bulls all day. Well, all afternoon. We got in. We had to kind of a little bit, we were sneaking in, moving in, moving in. Got set up, felt, shot felt right, boom. Bull ran just a little ways, went right down. Whew. Awesome. I just about got stomped by that bull. <laughs> I tell you, that was as good as elk hunting gets. Trevin had chances at, at least from my angle, it looked like he had chances at several nice bulls. One big five, I was like wanting them to shoot. Looked like a four-year-old five-point good cold bull. Trevin's usually good for a cold bull. Let's go see what he's got to say. What did you do? The big one that was down there by the wall. That big, big five? No, the big six. Big six. I didn't see a big five. I had him at 18 yards right there. Yeah. Jeff couldn't see him. So then he went down, ran those other bulls off, and he at the wall was 59 yards. Put it through his heart. Beautiful, beautiful. Even though 
We didn't capture it on film. It's still an exciting event that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Being that close and in the middle of bull elk in the heat of the rut. Wow, good job, buddy. Nice, nice bull, Trevin, congratulations. Yeah, I mean, this was exciting. It's, I mean, we set up on these bulls earlier and the wind and the was wind, just squirrely. And I was thinking they were gonna head up like they usually do, but you know what? Only a few of them must have got our wind because they came right back to where they were. It gave us just enough time to reposition for the wind. And when they were coming back out, we were set up perfectly. They were just filing out. They were coming into the call. It was just oh, it was an awesome, incredible night of elk hunting. You know, and then when we decided to pull out because the wind blew them off the corner, then we heard them start coming up. Yeah. And we circled around got the and you just right. told me, go. Mm -hmm. And we had just enough of this type of stuff that Jeff and I could move, 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 move through there. And uh, <laughs> there was a bunch of times I was on them, and, you know, on my knee like you do, yeah. you know, and, and I, I, they just were young fives. Yeah, or, it looked like or, there was one five point standing literally 10 yards in oh, front yeah. of you. Well, and then there was a couple other off to the left, and yeah. then this guy came up to the left, and brrr, and I looked over, and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder going, Jeff, you're right there. And he's like, I can't see him. I can't see him, you know, because yeah. there was just too much brush and about 15 different trees. So when you told us to move again, well, then they kind of came down in the wallow, and we were able to pull up, move mm -hmm. up on them. And I got I got in, and, and you know, those crossbows are just so accurate. Yeah. And I ranged this guy and, and put that pin mm -hmm. right, boom, lower third, thump, and all I heard was, that thwack. That nice, like hitting a pumpkin with us. Oh, man. Jam. It I was awesome. Heck of a, heck of a Colorado elk Good season. job, man. Good job. Adam, Trevin, another great elk season. Absolutely. In the high country of Colorado. That was amazing. That night you got your bull had to be one of the best nights of hunting I've had in my entire life. And you've been out in the woods most of your life, so that's saying something. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Outback Outdoors. And hey, let us know what you think. Send us an email. We we'll always want to hear from you, and we'll see you next time on Outback Outdoors. Absolutely nobody knows me better. No one I can make me feel so good.